What is going on, people of the internet? Hyper Chaotic here with a K, double R, and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time visiting my channel. And for those of you who have been watching me for a while, besides the background gameplay, I want you guys to remember this is going to be a gaming channel still. So I'm going to have gaming content every now and then. Now, it's going to be a while till I can eventually get back to what did I miss. I'm almost done resetting up because I had to restart my computer. I finally did that. I'm trying to finish up on some projects for this year before it's over. And then have that, you know, set up as well as finish up on some other projects. But until then, I'm going to be having some gameplay of War Robots, which is a pretty decent mobile game. But like most games nowadays, like not even just mobile games, but most games nowadays, they've been on some pay to win BS. Regardless, I've already gotten some gameplay from my second no commentary channel. Link in the description down below. Um, I forget to um, promote it every now and then. But link in the description down below if you're the type who likes uh, no commentary gameplay. I already have no commentary gameplay of this game, of each mode, on that channel. But in this one, this is going to be the reactionary, my personal experience gameplay. You know, just your typical playthrough. Um, oh, and by the way, Merry Christmas, because you're going to be seeing this video on Christmas Day. Unless you're watching this later on in the future, then Merry Belated, that's what it is, right? Merry Belated Christmas, Merry Late Christmas, uh, and if it's after New Year's for you, and a Happy New Year. Of course, if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Holidays, whatever the heck. Uh... And with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you have seen some of my past gameplay before when it comes to mobile, I've been playing some COD Mobile before on the channel. Uh, it's been a while. I'm eventually going to get back to COD Mobile. I had to reset up a new phone and whatnot. Was playing for a while. Then, for some reason, my account was just... I don't know. I don't know what's up with COD Mobile that I keep losing my freaking accounts and my data. I mean, every time I re-sign up, they'll actually give me back all of my weapons and attachments. But I'll still be reset to level 1. I don't know. This game is weird sometimes. Like, usually when I'm playing, most of the time it works. It doesn't bug out like that in the middle of a game. Minus lag. Uh, usually that's just due to the quality quality of the hardware and how much it can handle what the game's throwing at it. But I don't know. Just it's it's weird sometimes. It's a fun game. It's a good game. Lately, it's the better Call of Duties with the better matchmaking. But I just wish I could stop losing my fucking account with that damn game because I want to get back to it as well as get back to checking out the comics, which was a series I was going to start doing on this channel. Then I started having more of my tech issues. Started. I just. There's a lot of shit I gotta get to. Let's get into this gameplay. Oh, one more thing I wanna mention. Uh, th the whole reason I brought up. <laughs> I even brought that up in the first place. Was uh, in those previous videos, I would have audio from my speakers because that's how my screen recorder would work. There was no in recording, uh, internal recording audio, and that shit would always bother me. But with my new phone, finally, the feature has internal audio recording. But if I want to record myself, my voice, I still got to turn on external recording. And if I don't want the audio of the gameplay to be affected, I got to turn on some Bluetooth headphones, which I have connected. Uh, fortunately, they're almost dead, so hopefully they'll last at least for one match. We'll see what happens. Um, or I could just lower the audio, but I do not know if I do that with the internal recording, if you guys will even be able to hear the uh, game's audio at all. In that. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I, I have not experimented with this uh, screen recorder on the phone yet. Probably should have done that before I done this, but 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm recording this on the 23rd, so I wanna have this recorded and ready for Christmas Day. And I already have a video for Christmas uh, Eve that I gotta still render and uh, thumbnail description. Oh, oh shit! Motherfucker, you pay to win, son of a bitch! You see what I mean? What I was gonna say is I apologize if I end up going silent because sometimes I'm just, you know, focused. But god damn, dude, seriously? Uh, and it's the guy with the Asian gamer tag. Ladies and gentlemen, usually I'll just pull through and say fuck it, but no. That was some straight bullshit. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna finish this match. Now as you see here, I'm still hopping into the game because in order for me to go to the menu, I have to, you know, get back to the battlefield. But I'm, I'm, oops, I'm not staying any further because that was some straight bull bull. Literally, that's what I mean by pay to win bullshit. Literally, let me just show you exactly what I mean. Look at this shit. So in this game, there are some... This wasn't a feature back when I first played this game. I played this game back in its early stages when it was a brand new game. Uh, so much has changed from the original War Robots. And one of the new features they've added to this game were levels to weapons. Like, you know, common, uncommon, rare, legendary, shit like that. Levels to how uh, powerful it is. And, and of course, it's a game with in-game currency, so you got these packs for, you know, shit like, the keys are for this, for, for loot boxes to get the good stuff. And we got a workshop here in case you actually want to earn a lot of a lot of the higher level weapons but most people don't do that because look wh why would you do that when you could just why earn anything when you can buy it right here look at that you cannot buy these in the regular shop with the regular in-game currency you can only buy it with real money or you have to earn it by building it in the workshop because with other regular weapons you can click on the robot you can go to the shop, which you got to do to click on the weapon. And you can buy all these common weapons. Here are some, you know, special, rare, and whatnot. You can buy some of the legendary ones. Well, you can actually buy them. You can either just buy the parts if they're available, or as you see here, some of them are only available in the workshop. They just have it here so you can at least see its stats and details which why even put it in the store you might as well just have it in its own special tab but you know at least you can see the details before you decide hmm, maybe this is the one i want to go for but you know why i actually grind for it why I actually take two weeks to a month to earn it when it's when it's right here when I just gotta scroll all the way over here and I can either buy all the currency I need, buy all the keys I need to get it right away or I can buy the, I can buy the, sh I just, I, what, what's, what's grinding? What's, like, what's actual skill? There's no such thing as skill in this game. In one gameplay, somebody uh, on my no commentary channel, somebody tried to criticize me by how I played, which, I mean, I'm not against criticism. Nothing, you know, nothing can, is it can, what am I trying to say? Not a thing on this planet is uh, immune to critique. You know, not even me, not, not my content, not my gameplay is immune to critique. But uh, that second channel is just for walkthroughs and whatnot and example gameplay of multiplayer. I do not care to be to have it as a channel of me just grinding away at certain games or, or going hardcore being the expert player. No, it's just 
have gameplay of of his existence. That's it. That's it's the, it's walk through. It's it. I don't care to be a pro at any game ever. I'm just a casual gamer. And I, I and I told the dude like you know thanks for watching, but I don't care. And it's a pay to win mess anyways. So who gives a damn about actually trying to get good when the other person can always still have the better weapon that they paid for? Skill doesn't matter in this game. Regardless if I am playing a little bit like a noob or not, it literally doesn't matter. Because at that point, I'll be playing competitive. And for those of you who don't know, I despise competitive play and competitive natures with a burning passion. I hate it. I, I I hate the energy of being competitive. You know, I I just I, I hate it. I hate playing competitive. I don't play games to play like I'm in a million dollar tournament. I play to relieve the stress of the day and relax. You don't get that out of competitive game modes. Out of competitive gameplay just ugh. can i just get a regular casual game for once and i'm actually talking about like multiplayer or co-op or something i'm not talking about single player any any freaking game with uh, an easier difficulty can be a casual game that that's it or just depending on the game and don't get me wrong, I love single players. I'll never stop playing single player, but oh my god, I'm just tired of every multiplayer being a pay to win grind sweat fest. I don't give a fuck about playing like a professional. I don't care about playing good. I just want to have fucking fun. Is that too much to ask? That's the whole point of gaming. For fuck's sake. I'm sorry for going on that tangent, but... Ugh. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. But fuck. <sighs> oh, and I didn't mention this, but the matchmaking be on some BS too. I mean... It's not like you can even really tell what level anybody is on your team or the other team. But, uh... Uh... I... I just want this... I'm sorry, guys. I just want this to be... A decent... Game... With good vibes. And I, gen I genuinely want to get my, you know, experience in the game gameplay, my playthrough of this game for my main channel like I have the you no know, commentary gameplay for my second channel. And I wanted to originally do them side by side, but I kind of gotten that out of the way because I'm going to be honest, I'm not liking this game anymore. I just can't stand it. Like, I still have fun with it from time to time when it's not on straight BS. But... At this point, I'm just doing it for the sake of getting beats. I'm actually hoping I do have some fun along the way, but, you know, uh, that's, that's a dice roll. Not even a coin for a dice roll. Oh, uh, again, with the big one, shit. Well, he hasn't fully upgraded him, so uh, he hasn't paid enough to win. I went AWOL. Did 
do just feel. Oh shit, what the fuck? But me, I'm loading. Usually it's better to save the big guy for when, you know, things are going south or when everybody else has used up most of their robots. Because when you waste your Titan, the enemy has a chance to pull out most of their Titans and gang up on you and completely turn the tables of the game in their favor. So usually you want to be the guys who, who save your robot for the end in order to turn the tables in your favor. Uh, but sometimes that doesn't always work out. Especially if they do the pain to win BS. Or stuff like that. Or just take out who you can, I guess. Huh. So as you can see there, and for those of you who have never played this game before, what he just did is he activated, uh, I cannot remember all the fucking names of the weapons in this game, but especially it's a special, uh, weapon feature, the defense system, to where if they get too close they'll take a lot of damage from like, heat, heat damage. I cannot remember the name of half of the stuff in this game, that's how little... I used to play it on a regular. I used to know most of my robots' names by heart, but I just forgot over time of not playing it as much as I used to, and I just kind of don't care about the game. So before anybody goes giving me some pro tips, like, oh, if you do this, this, and that, you have a better skill, I don't care. But I'm trying to help you in it, I don't care. You know if you were to join a clan, I don't care. I don't care. Once I've got three, three matches of each game mode, not necessarily all in one gameplay, maybe over time. But once I've got three full matches of each game mode, I'm done with this game. All I gotta do is get footage of the UI for the second no commentary channel, and that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm done with this game for good. I do not care for your tips. Thank you for watching. Thank you for wanting to give me tips. Thank you for wanting to help me get better, but I don't care. Thank you. No disrespect, but no thank you. I don't care. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if that was... um. A uh, victory or defeat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even paying attention. You see, this is why I go silent when I focus. Cause start, when I start talking, I kind of like, like I kind of like back out of the game for a bit, even though I'm still playing, and I don't always pay attention to what I'm, what I'm doing or what's going on. You know, I might be hitting somebody, but in the meantime, you know, I'm not paying attention to the fact that they're also hitting me and I'm just taking all this damage. And you're probably looking at the screen like, what are you doing, Chaotic? Move! Just standing there like a dumbass. If you look back at some of my gameplay, I've probably actually done that. You know, just, just standing there taking damage, acting like I don't even see the enemy. And that's because I'm a little distracted trying to talk and get what's in my head, you know, in words.
Gonna put this. My guy, can I get a chance to move left to right before? Okay, so far I feel like we don't need to go. I feel like if I, um, if we lose this one, it'll be due to legitimate skill. Um, and... I think I want to say. What the fuck? For a second, I thought they were hurting the bullets. Again, for those of you who probably are not familiar with this game, um, there's this special weapon. That when you fire at them, as they go around the corner, the weapon can actually... As the bullet's already been fired, the bullet will curve in order to hit you around the corner. Now, depending on how sharp the curve is, it may or may not be able to hit you. Like, something like this, if you had that weapon, if I was right here, the curve is a bit more sharp, it probably wouldn't be able to hit me, or I'd barely get the tip of my gun on my, uh right side but you know depending on how far you've got around the corner you'll still get you'll, you'll still get hit and then you see you got these shields I don't I honestly don't know how um, half of these special So what, what it is, is this game has these things called modules. Sorry about that, I had to adjust my phone. Uh, which are used for defense. Well, some of them are defense, some of them for offense. So some modules will allow you to phase so you don't take any damage, but only for a limited time. Some of the offenses uh, ones allow you to take, or I'm sorry, give more damage. Some... Here's what I'm talking about. I'm using Death Mask. This one allows me to give out more damage. This one allows your, uh, as the name applies, your robot to be repaired. Advanced repair, so heals you better. Lockdown ammo. They can't use their weapons. This is the one I'm talking about. Phase shift. You phase out of reality, I guess. Um, and bullets to phase right through you. You don't take damage. Quantum radar. Um, here's his details. I'm still kind of a bit confused on that one. But yeah, that's uh, how the modules work. Some are for offensive. Some are for defensive. Time for promotion. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have enough for your raise. Gonna have to get out there and make me more of the big bucks. I did what? One domination and one. Let's do a team deathmatch. Or a free for all. Should I do a free for all? Oh, skirmish has been brought back. So in this game, uh, when you play skirmish, you get to try out new, either new robots or currently available robots that are higher on. Um, the legendary status scale or whatever. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go for a skirmish instead of a free for all. Okay, so as you can see here, we got a preset hanger, as known as... That, that, that's basically what a class setup is in this game. Uh, hanger presets. Uh, but as you can see here, I don't own any of these robots. Every time they come around with skirmish, 
they allow you to try some of the, the legendary and rare robots that are available as well as the legendary and rare weapons that you can use um, as well as new special abilities that certain robots may have or modules Some tells me if I go into the purple water, probably not water, probably acid, or I'll take some damage. the purple. I'm fucked. Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm... I'm taking damage. Yep. That was a dumb mistake on my behalf. trying out this robot. Where the fuck am I taking damage? Holy shit, dude. By the way, when it comes to this mode, you can only try out um, regular robots and not Titans. I know I haven't used the Titan so far in the gameplay, because the match kind of ended so quickly, uh, which is the special super robot, but uh, you cannot try out Titans in this game. I don't know if that's something they plan on doing here, eventually but uh yeah you just cannot try out titans and skirmish only with uh regular robots this map feels like a redesign of another map uh, it is okay no wonder it was looking so familiar Wow. I'm not gonna lie, this is an impressive redesign. Um, I mean the map, the original map still currently exists within the game. Um, if, if I feel like it, I'll probably take a screenshot of the, uh, of the map I'm talking about. Uh, obviously you're not gonna really know what it looks like if you don't see gameplay of it. I, I do play... Uh, the map a few times in some uh, of the gameplay on my no commentary channel again link down below in the, in the description But yeah, they took one of the existing maps and redesigned it. They made it more like a winter map the original ones a desert map Kind of still has the same structures and whatnot uh, But then they added the purple acid so you can't go in the middle like you actually can in the original map Honestly, this is a creative redesign. I like it this is actually pretty cool, well done. They took a, 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 a map that already exists in the game, and it kind of made it its own new map. We got a few change-ups. And, uh, what do they call it? Map casualty? Possibility of map death? Basically, if you make a mistake, the map itself can kill you. Like, either falling off a map, being in the water for too long, or in this case, the purple acid, and taking damage. So I think this is pretty cool, nonetheless. Um, what's map fatalities? Like, that's what I meant to say. Map fatalities. This map has a possibility for map fatalities. I think that's pretty freaking cool.
Yeah, this is definitely a redesign of that one desert map, and I like it, honestly. I, I, I'm not very happy with the state of the game still, but I like how creative they are with the maps. Because they do make some really good maps. And that's one good thing I could say about this game. They got some real good maps. Good design, good flow. They're fun to play on. They're good to look at. Um, they used to be a little bit more dull and lighting in color back when I first played it. But compared to how the game is now, it, it's a lot better with lighting. Um, it's a lot better with the textures. I feel like if there's one thing they could add, if it was possible, it'd be shadows. But I don't know if uh, most Android and iPhones can actually really handle that. This is on iPhone as well. But uh, if that's one good thing, I can definitely, as much as I'm not liking this game anymore. It's got great map design. It's got great robot design. The, the robots look cool as fuck. The inside of the hangar, which is a ship, you technically don't really unlock it until later on when you're like on a higher level. But technically your hangar has always been a ship. And just look, look, look how look how cool this looks. This looks so badass. I cannot stand the way the monetization is handled in this game. The economy. And the constant nerfing and buffing. And the pay to win aspect. But even for a mobile game that has the graphics quality of an Xbox 360 game. In today's age, it's just cool to look at. It's pretty to look at. They got, and again, this is still uh, an upgrade in quality compared to how it used to be. And on top of that, I don't even think I'm on the highest graphic settings. Yeah, I'm not even on the highest settings. So we're not even getting the full detail. And even then, the game still looks so cool. Look at the design of this ship. Look at the design of space, and I assume that's Earth. I think. Could just be another Earth-like planet. It looks badass. The drones. I got, all, I got all the basic ones, but they look pretty decent. Let's look at the design of the... Uh, the other ones. Let's go to the store. I'm not actually going to ever, you know, when I'm done with this game, I'm done with this game, but I'm going to go ahead and say the good I have to say about it and get it out of the way. The drones. Look at the drones. They got some pretty cool designs. I'm not going to lie. They look pretty freaking cool. This one drone right here, Sharpshooter. It honestly looks like a spaceship from like Star Wars or something. I, I, I don't know why. I look at it and I would love to fly it if I could. But you're not allowed to. They're just meant to be there to help you with defense and healing. But it, it looks cool. I don't know why. There's that little kid in me that looks at it and, and just sees a toy that I want to play with. The design looks so cool. You know, these drones look bad. They're pretty freaking cool. And they're just meant to be there for support. And of course, the robots. Let's look more at the robots. You know, these are the ones that I have. Let me go to the store. I know I was kind of talking shit about this game, but I'm going to suck. For the, those who make the good design in this game, I'm going to suck its dick for a little bit. Look at the design of the robots. They just look cool. This one I have. That's the original skin. Look at this. Look at that. If there's one good thing I can say about this game, the designs are awesome. Look at this. If it wasn't a pay to win grind fest, I would collect all of them. But it's not worth it. I don't care. I do not care to spend the time, the energy, or the money collecting another robot, let alone collecting all of them. But if this game wasn't so unfair on that level, I would collect them all. Because they look so freaking awesome. I want to try them. I can when Skirmish comes around. 
but it depends on which one they decide to allow you to try at the time. Look, the designs are so freaking cool. Oh, I forgot to look at the weapons. Yeah, I'm going to keep looking at the designs for a little bit. Look at the weapons. I love the way they look. Like, it just looks so cool. Look at this. This is a very interesting looking weapon. I'm pretty sure that's an energy-based weapon. You see what I mean? Like, I don't know who the, the concept graphics artists they hired are. But they did such a fantastic job. From the, sh the hangar ship, the robots, the weapons, and even the modules, which you don't, you can't really see the module on the robot at all. I guess technically it would be on the inside of your robot. But for what it looks like, just for the icons, I mean, the kite, the, the kite, the, the icons look pretty cool. You know, they're very eye catching. See what I mean? It looks pretty cool. Very imaginative. The pilots. Here's one of my pilots. This one I got for the loot box. And they got some pretty interesting designs. This guy looks like he, he would creep around a corner trying to sell you something. Hello, those, hello there, stranger. <laughs> Freaking... Yeah, that's a Resident Evil uh, reference. This guy just looks like a regular cyborg, but pretty decent design. So yeah, this game's got great design, but it is just not managed very well. I hate the way this game is managed. I really do. And one more thing, let's go ahead and take a look at the Titan before I end this game, this gameplay. Look at that. You can even see that it has reactive armor like a tank. I mean, it. this literally looks like somebody took an M1 Abrams and they turned it into a giant war robot. Which is funny because here's my smallest robot, which is much larger than an actual tank. And then there's the Titan, which just towers over all of them. As you can see right here, okay, look, like right below this, right below the feet of the golem, you can see this little vehicle right here for just scale size. You can see this Christmas tree in the back, shipping container, just to give you an idea just how big these vehicles are, how big these robots are. Meanwhile, you got this one looking like an M1 Abrams as a giant robot. And that's pretty freaking cool. Let's look at the other Titans, because I don't really look at them too often. Look at that, that's cool. The shield just closes it open up in the middle. This one hovers... Actually, do they let you use Titans in Skirmish? Now that I think about it, maybe they do. Because I have used some of these robots before. I think they do let you use Skirmish. Uh, um, Titans in Skirmish. Um, either that or I'm mistaken it for a regular robot with a similar design. Because a lot of them do look similar. But I mean, look. The, the designs are just... I, 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 I cannot talk bad about the designs. Of, of, of everything in this game. The design is just fantastic. I just hate the way they, ma they manage the economy and how greedy they are with the pay-to-win aspect. With that said, uh, this almost felt like a, a, a bit of a small review of this game while playing. But with that said, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, um. And hearing my perspective about this game, leave a like if you disagree would disagree with some points or just didn't enjoy this video. Leave a dislike and a comment telling me why. Any and all interaction is good interaction for my channel and the algorithm. 
and any and all criticism can help me get better. I'm probably going to have another War Robots gameplay on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I already have an idea for a video I want on New Year's Eve, but if I don't have it ready by then, I'll probably have a War Robots video on New Year's Eve. If not, New Year's Day. And um, for those of you, of you who have been checking out my off the top of my head retrospectives, um, I'm going to eventually get back to it and do Phase 4. One of the videos that I want to finish up on is going back to the past phases and quickly going over some of the side characters, the villains, and the plot. Just a quick overview, retrospective, and, and that's it. And then I'm going to move forward with Phase 4. But uh, before I worry about that, I'm going to worry about one of my projects for um, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, which is going to be that one video and the War Robots gameplay. If that other video is not ready, War Robots would be on Christmas. I'm sorry, uh, New Year's Eve. If not New Year's Day, that's when the gameplay is going to go up. Uh, the side character villain retrospective would probably come after that. Then sometime after that will be um, my retrospective of Phase 4. So that is all probably going to come in January. But uh, yeah, for those of you watching on Christmas Day, once again, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, um, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year, or belated Christmas, ha ha belated holidays, uh, late New Year. Happy late New Year, if you're watching this much later in the future. And double thank you if you're watching this later in the future. And triple thank you if you watch all the way to the end. I really do appreciate your time. Even if you didn't enjoy the video, I really do appreciate it. And again, leave a like or a dislike comment telling me why. Because even your dislikes matter, regardless of what YouTube says. Unless you're not watching on YouTube. Shout out to those watching on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. But even on those platforms, your dislike matters. Chaotic out. Have a good one. Once again, happy holidays.